Howdy. We're picking up immediately where we left off last time, so. Sorry about that, but I didn't want the video to get long. Uh, the Hurlberry Pokemon Gym's mission is this. Is this the same guy who gave us the rundown at the last one? Maybe it's like Nurse Joy where they're all just brothers or something. A challenging maze, and you must reach the goal to clear the mission. However, some paths in the maze are blocked by water. What should you do then? Try pressing that red button over there, and I imagine you'll figure it out, future champ. I see. Now, let the gym mission begin! Dong! Okay. I immediately just have to kick butt. Wait, uh... Ooh, we're gonna do something. Okay, so I can control Pokemon up to, like, level 25. So... Well, that'd be a lot of XP. Let's do like eight of these. 64,000, 6400. Oh, <laughs> dang. I did not mean for him to gain that much XP. Uh, we're not gonna be able to use Cory. Rip. I did want him to evolve, but it needed, needed to be close. Closer than just launching up. That's real cool. It's like Bolt. Yeah, bolt -und. Wow. Okay, well. We just kick butt now, I think, with this guy. This Pokemon generates electricity and channels it into its legs to keep them going strong. Boltunt can run non-stop for three full days. Jeepers creepers. Okay. Well, dang. Uh, he's gonna stop listening to us relatively quickly here, then. Oh, yo, didn't I get an item? Yeah, Miracle Seed. Let's give this to Orang. Okay. Okay, well, he's really strong now. In fact, I think we just kind of sweep the rest of this gym with this guy. Uh, welcome to Hurlberg Stadium. Ready to bask in the beauty of water type moves? A cha! Huh? Temple and I were the ones who got soaked? <gasps> no! That's fine, you're in a bathing suit, it's fine. Next. Okay, so we need to hit the yellow. This is gonna be dead simple. Not even a puzzle. Deep. Cha. It looks so good. Daggum, man. I'm just constantly in awe. What if there's a way I could do this without fighting the lady? But I don't think so. It's not really the point, is it? No, this is unfortunate. He's definitely going to be leveled up. At best, I can use him on like one Pokemon in the boss fight. I wasn't sure about the right thing to do in that battle. Well, I mean, there wasn't much for you to do, honestly, so you're not... It's not your fault, I promise. Uh, this one might be avoidable. Mm-hmm. What was the point of that, though? See, and then I have to hit this guy. Yes. So that's actually what I need to do. Careful. And I need to hit a yellow one. And not go in this fight. Why do you look off to that side, lady? Like, come on. There's very clearly nothing over there. Uh. Wait. Okay. Clearly I did that wrong. I guess let's go hit the red one again. Uh, yes. No! That guy... Wait. Okay, I think I'm just stupid. I can just come over here and hit the right one. But no, then I can't hit the blue switch. I'm not stupid. I know what I'm doing. Maybe I can... Ah. Okay, I am stupid. What? You made it this far? And you want to battle me? No, I don't. Could I not? it. Okay. Here we go. So I did have to do it this way. Right? So I hit that. And now I can go hit the red again, and then I can go hit the blue. It was just kind of a weird one that I had to work out a bit. Wait, but then the yellow's deact- no, yellow's deactivated there. Aha. We good. Success. This one was a lot less interesting than the, uh, the grass type? Yeah, the grass type one. Wave to the camera. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, th I liked the Wolo, Wulu, whatever it's called. I liked the Wulu one a whole lot more. 
Just because you gotta corral him around and stuff, and it wasn't just a puzzle. Wait. It was technically a puzzle, wasn't it? It was a very basic puzzle. It doesn't really count. I like how the floor, floor is just pretty much flo floor. Pool floor. There you go. Like the tiling they use. Welcome, honored gym challenger. I think you already realize, but I'm Nessa. Sorry to have you look for me. Uh, I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty. Yet you cleared it. Your mind as a Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. It took me a while. I basically threw stuff at a wall and saw what stick. Sticked? Ugh. No matter what kind of, your, of plan your refined mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. I plan to press A and use Magical Leaf and maybe Dynamax. We'll see though. You were challenged by Gym Leader Nessa. Oh, and she has three Pokemon. Exciting. Holy crap. She just did like that. The whoosh. The splits thing in midair. Holy crud. Let's go. Harang. Time to kick some butt. I bet if I Dynamax, I can one-shot all of them. But I could probably do that without Dynamaxing for the first few. No. Okay. I don't know what difference would have made. Would have made. Woo. One down. I mean, worst case scenario, we can fall back on, um... Uh, Yamper. I can't remember what I nicknamed him now. Cory. There you go. Aeroconda. Kuda? Aerocuda. Ooh. Aerocuda. That's not what it is at all. What is that thing? Is it, like... I almost feel like groundwater is probably accurate, but I have no clue. I've never seen it before. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. Dredna. Oh. That's the evolved form of Choodle, in case you don't know. That's going to be a crazy Dynamaxed one, though. Flood the stadium and make it our ocean, Dredna. Time to Dynamax. I love how the crowd always starts singing when they Dynamax. They're just that pumped. Well, I can Dynamax too. Yeah. Pretty epic when we do it both in the same turn. It's the Battle of Titans. Monkey versus Turtle. Classic. I'm gonna beat that shell. I'm gonna thwack it. We just took a whole lot of damage. It doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter. Max Overgrowth, very strong. It was over in one turn. Rough, man. Holy crud. 891 XP for that. Just on the first guy. Wow. Four level ups. Whew. Good job. Victory! Whoa, chill. I may proudly be the strongest member of this gym, but I was totally washed away. 3,800 monies. How? How can this be? Type advantage, my dude. Sigh. Now that I've battled you, I think I understand. Continue to seize victories in the gym challenge with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit that may even be strong enough to challenge the champion. Yeah. That's why he gave me his endorsement. He doesn't want to be champion. He wants me to be champion. Ha. You and your Pokemon... <clears throat> you and your Pokemon are indeed deserving of this gym badge. Thanks. Appreciated. <laughs> You can now catch Pokemon up to level 30. Yes. You'll want to challenge the Fire Gym Leader next. As you and your Pokemon are now, he'll definitely want to battle you. Good. Sent. My sincere congratulations for your victory over Gym Leader Nessa. Please take this commemorative TM. Whirlpool. I doubt it's as good as Waterfall. Uh, the user traps the target. Doesn't matter. 
Take this too, it's a replica of Nessa's uniform. Uh, do I want a replica of Nessa's uniform? Not really. Now that you've won the water badge, I'll be watching to see just how far you and your Pokemon can go. It's time for seafood! Do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. So you will not forget the chairman's face, I will give you one of his league cards. Oh boy, thanks, I love these card collecting things. Chairman Rose is the kind of man who gets downhearted if he doesn't take care of the things he needs to right away. Go to the seafood restaurant as soon as possible so as not to keep the chairman waiting. Yes, ma'am. Ugh. I don't like her. This looks a lot like the restaurant, and it looks like he has some adoring fans outside, so probably. Yeah, there he is. Uh, welcome to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. You're not going to tell me I have a reservation or anything? Fine. So, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, you, oh, you were invited too? You two know each other? That's great. Come now, please be seated. Oh, that was... Rose is a girly name, so I thought he was the chick for a second, but eh, that's my bad. No, oh, she is, she's not going to sit down with us. Great. Holbury is a seafood town. Naturally, if one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. Oh, by the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax fans without her. <sighs> she was saying that there's still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her some worry. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A power spot detector? That's the device that allowed me to discover the power spots. Locations that emit Galar particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried though. If only there were something I could do. Like funding. I don't know, that eases some worries. Uh, Sonya, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonya. However, I believe it is time we get going, Chairman. We haven't even had our food yet. Hmm? But I haven't even had- I've hardly had a chance to speak with Scent. Ah, it's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to get done, there's no time like the present, after all. In any case, I bid you farewell. Well, Rip. You're paying for the meal, right? <laughs> Sigh, does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for info on the legends, but... You got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Nessa is no small feat. No, it was. Here's the TM as a reward. Another one! Retaliate. Eh? Uh, I guess revenge. Yeah, it's mediocre. This is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Jim Challenger. <laughs> Don't fight me again. I just fought you like 10 minutes ago, maybe. <sighs> Hop, man. Alright, mate. You've, bo you've got both the grass badge and the water badge by now, right? In that case, we're both headed for Matastake and the fire gym leader, Kabu. How about I share a little tip with you about the leader? From what I heard, he's holed up and now in Galar Mine Number 2, undergoing some special training. If he's in there, then we can't take him on in Matasake, even if we zip right over there, putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we head to Galar Mine Number 2 ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. Cool. Maybe. Oh look, game. What is that Pokemon? Tell me. What kind of Pokemon are you? Galar Mine number two is a good spot. It's full of rock solid Pokemon. Ooh. Rock types. Do I need a rock type? No, but I need something that can use a rock type move. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, pause. I like that Pokemon. I can't remember what it's called, though. Scuttlebug? Is that right? Man, it's a good Pokemon. If its ability wasn't so bad. So now we're not going to use it. And its name is Wimpod. It evolves into Glossopod. And that's all that matters. That's all she wrote. Ooh. <gasps> There's a noise out there, but... Bead. You again. I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. 
If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokemon battle. <sighs> Naturally. It's utterly inconceivable that I, the challenger chosen by the chairman, will lose. It sounds like he doesn't even remember you though, so it's not completely inconceivable. Hmm, <laughs> looks like you've grown a bit, only a little bit though. Yo, that's cool. What is that, Galarian Ponyta? What type is that thing? It looks like cotton candy. What does a shiny one look like? I gotta look this up. Psychic. Psychic. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. I might remember still. Whatever. Yo, Galarian Rapidash is literally just a unicorn. Also, it's exclusive to Pokemon Shield, so I can't actually have it. Excellent. Not everyone can corner my team like this. Well, it's, I've got a dark type, and you've got all things that are not weak. Or, sorry, that are weak to dark type, so. Easy mode. You showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. Okay. Yeah, I totally believe you. Ah, oh, pardon me. I, it seems I must take back my words. You're not weak. You just lack talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you at least tried. I don't want your lead card, especially you. Jeepers creepers. Now, where shall I go to go next to collect wishing stars? I don't know. Mine fell out of the sky, so... Probably jealous. Uh, I saw a Pokeball and I wanted it. A wild stunkfish. It's a Galarian stunkfish. And it lures you in with a Pokeball. That's kind of cool. It actually got me too. I don't want to fight you. I have no choice. Car coal. So it evolves from a single piece of coal into a very large minecart full of coal. Understood. Three Dusk Balls. Those are nice. Uh, yada yada. It's good in caves and at night. It's actually one of the better types of Pokeballs. Period. Ah, okay. <laughs> Almost stepped on the stupid Stunkfish again. Gotta watch out for those. They really just draw me in real stinking hard. I want this, but I don't want it. Also, that's kind of cool on the back there. Huh. I can't even, can't even remember what that thing's called. I could... <laughs> ah! Dang it, she just turned right around. When I'm tired of work, it's time for a battle. I'll show you the muscles I've built up. Whoa. Timber looks really stinking good. And, um... Like, in the fights. And just period. The only problem is, he becomes very ugly when he evolves. And I like Pokemon that I like how they look. Right? That's important to me. I'd rather have a slightly worse Pokemon that looks good. Well, now that I fought you, I'm kind of just free to run around wherever I want. Grip Claw, an item to be held by a Pokemon, extends the duration of multi-turn attacks. Oh, okay. I never use multi-turn attacks, so it doesn't... Ah! Uh, I'm a simple man, okay? I see Pokeball. I walk towards. <laughs> Team Yell, too. That gum man. You guys are just always on the lookout. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bar bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Crikey. But that's really something. I'd love to battle against a great trainer like you. Um. Okay. Sure. Well, look at you, Scent. Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You'll even be showing up Lee pretty soon. Oi, jaw god, mate. Can't you see we're all in the middle of a conversation here? They're getting slowly more and more British or Australian. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, ca I can't see that. And can't you see that I'm Hop, the trainer, who will be your next champion? Oh, so we got a joker here, eh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. Wow, you think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think a battle with you lot would definitely end with some laughs. Yeah, probably. But, you know. Let's take them all together, Scent. You ready to mate? Yeah. Sure. Burring it. Two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. We'll show you just what that means. 
Well, if you insist, Team Yell's gonna teach you kids that the gym challenge is no joke. You better not be yell o. What did you think, uh, what did this other kid have to come waltzing up for, eh? I just wanted to knock off challengers one at a time. Wow. These guys are kinda going from a minor nuisance to just, like, not cool. Ooh. Yes, look at the Linoon. It's so cool. I think it's like it's based it's gotta be based off of KISS, right? Like it's gotta be. It's got the stars around the eyes and everything. <laughs> every, every time I've been in a fight with Hop so far. Or a double fight with him, right? I think we've both sent out the Wulu first. Coincidence? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna kick the crud out of this lining though. I really kind of want my Lanoon, or sorry, I want my Wolo to stay alive. Because he should get enough XP after this battle to uh, do something cool. Aha, uh -huh, Bok leveled up. I had to swap out, otherwise he was going to die, but you know. Blaze Kick? What the heck is Blaze Kick? The user launches a kick that lands a critical hit more easily. Oh, okay, cool. This may also leave the target with a burn. 90 chance to hit. At 85 power. Was this always a move? I don't know if I've ever really seen that. However, that's great. I wanted a fire type move. Good. Go for it. No. <laughs> uh. I'd love just off in the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see Hop over there just like doing his fist thing. Oh, great, man. Okay. Good enough. Are you gonna yell at us because we up and yell lost? If I'd used a horn, would I have had a better chance at winning? No. You have a horn. Clearly, it didn't help you at all. Yes. Bach. He's about to become bigger, Bach. <laughs> How do you spell that? B A Flim Congratulations, your Bach evolved into Dubwall. Okay. Dubwall, Dubwall. Weave a carpet from its springy wool and you end up with something closer to a trampoline. You'll start to bounce the moment you set foot on it. Interesting. I wish we could keep it trimmed. That little mug's the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. I know we're Team Yell, but we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. Why do they just have giant safety pins on their back? That's my question. Nice one, Scent. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's farther in. Oh, I'm in the mine I was supposed to go to. The path just kind of came, like, straight here, so I didn't really worry about it. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, soft sand. Powers up ground type moves. That's actually pretty good. We can give that to our ground guy. Top again. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you next time. I'm kidding. I need to do it now. Otherwise, I'll just... I just want to get out of here. Oh, they're taking on the gym later. Thank you for helping out with my training, Team Yell. But I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a carcoal hard at work. We weren't getting in its way, we were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scarper and give a morale boost elsewhere. Didn't I beat those guys already? Cheering is one, uh, sorry. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Gore. That's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire-type gym leader. Ah, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hop and sent him, all right? I'm just training right up until the last moment so that I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challengers. I specialize in fire type Pokemon, and the water type Pokemon in Galar Mine number two are the perfect oppon opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of this mine and you'll reach Matastake. Get a good rest at the hotel and make sure you're both in your top condition. Come on, Carcool, time for you to head on home too. I'll make sure you get there safely. Gargh! 
we're going to be on fire tomorrow. It is just Jogonaut. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm getting all fired up too. Is that it? That's it. Stop in at the Buddy Drop Buddy Drop In for the night. We out. That car cool from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. You do know about poker jobs by now, right? No. Poker what? Looks like there's no hope in it. In that case, settle down and let Professor Hop teach you a thing or two. Let's see if I can remember what Lee had written down in his old notebooks. Basically, you can have your Pokemon go about and help companies or other folks who are in need of something. You can take Poke Jobs from the Rotomi. Uh, now I'm Cream Cracker. What does it do? What's the point in having my Pokemon go do work, though? Dag it. What a guy. I don't think I've had a Pokemon break out of a Pokeball yet. I've caught a fair few things, but I guess most of them have been Dynamax, so... Kinda doesn't count, but kinda does. I don't know. Psychic type, via the protrusion on its head, it senses other creatures' emotions. If you don't have a calm disposition, it will never warm up to you. Cool. I don't know if I'll use this or not, but it's good to have. Ooh, an amulet coin. Doubles the prize money. That's always just a good one to throw on someone. Run. Don't let the police officer catch you. Yo, is that wild area out there? Oh yeah, it is. This is the bridge. I was over in this area before. I was underneath it. And that's where I'm going to go back to. After we end this episode. Right here. Ha! Gotcha. Anyways. Yeah, that's where I'm going to call it. As always. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.